Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to run quality control, that is QC for Mindray BS240. So to begin your control, you click on the program, then you select your quality control. From here, you see a drop down box for the control. This is where you have all your controls that you have installed. So we are going to use the multi-level uh, control. That's the first one, which controls for all other parameters except your ld or and then the hba1c and so that's what we are going to do we we'll select it and then uh, in this demonstration we are going to use a micro tube and uh when you are using a micro tube make sure you select it so this is a micro tube this is what we are going to use so whenever you decide not to use a micro tube but to use a normal plain tube then you should make sure that you click on the drop down and then select standard but this time we are using a micro tube so we'll leave it to that so that's the sample cap you make sure you select a micro tube okay so to begin the control you select the reagents or analytes that you want to control for so we are doing for alp we select that triglycerides and then urea so you make sure that all are selected and then from here you click on f8 to save okay so you can go to your status site to see the position of your control it's on position three and you can see that it's programmed now okay so from here we will turn our attention to the control sample you usually have it frozen so this is it we'll allow it to sit and it's already taught okay so we'll open it or we'll uncap it and then we'll pipette an amount let's say 300 microliters into the micro tube and then from there we can load it into our machine okay so this is fine uh, so that's our control ready to be loaded so we'll load it into our machine, we'll open it, and then we'll load it in position three. But if you have forgotten, you can quickly check from the status. And so that will have to load it at position three. So yeah, that's position three. I hope you can see it. Okay. We'll properly cover the machine and then we'll turn to the system again. From here to start running, we'll click on play. Uh, for this prompt, we'll click on no. And then the next one will click on OK. Then it will begin to run. Then usually it displays the amount of time needed to run the control at the status area. So that's it. This one will take 15 minutes to complete this control. OK, so when the QC is done running, the machine will return to the standby mode. Now to see our QC results, we'll click on the QC button so I'll click on the QC button now from here I'll click on results from here you can see all the chemistries that I have run QC for their values are here their results and then their standard deviations okay alternatively I can decide to view the LJ chart so I click on the living journey button there and then I search for the chemistry that I want to view. So I'm searching for ALP. I click on F1 and then I can view it. You can see that it's one standard deviation from the mean, which is acceptable according to the West Guard rules. So um, it's acceptable. I can also search for the other ones, like the trick that I ran. And I look for it down there and then I select it. I search for F1 and then you can see that that one too is okay. It's within one standard deviation. It is acceptable according to the West Guard rules. I can also do the same for the urea. And then I press on F1 to search for it. It's also passed within one standard deviation. And so there are no flags for this QC. It means that this QC has passed. So basically, that is how you run QC for the BS240 machine. Okay. Credit to Nana AC and thanks for watching.